Magdalena is going to be here with, uh, with us in spirit. Uh, without further ado, I'm really glad Magdalena said, explained why we are here, but this is, this is not a conference. I hope you feel that. I, I wish we would be seated in a circle like we do in the Amazon forest. Um, I hate to be on the stage and you, stick, you know, everybody is on stage. As, she, as Magdalena said, be, pay attention to anyone here next to you, connecting to you. Pay anyone online as well. A good moment to tell you, you have a link in your email. If not, ask us uh, on Hopin and you can connect there uh, as well um, with our participants here and also those of you who are online uh, following that. But yeah, just magic can happen and this afternoon I'll talk to you about some magic that happened from last year already uh, with some of our indigenous friends who visited uh, last year. But without further ado, I would like to uh, welcome our first guest from, uh, the, from Colombia from uh, nature. They, they are not representing nature, they are nature. Uh, so I would like, uh, Lucas, if you want to help me welcome our friends, the Kogis from Colombia, for an introduction, and then we'll have them longer tomorrow. The Kogis um, are um, from the Sierra Nevada in Colombia. Some of them, not all of them, spent 10 years in a dark cave from birth, right? As from baby to 10 years, sometimes 20 years. Well, sit here. Hi, Lucas. How are you? Buenos dias. <laughs> este casa es su casa, por favor. <laughs> Muchas gracias. I will let you translate in a second. Muchas gracias. Tengo mucho respeto para su conocimiento y su, su presencia aquí. I, I just said for those of you who don't understand Spanish that I have a huge respect for their presence here and for them being here with us. I'm getting very emotional, so I'll let Lucas. <laughs> Go ahead. Thanks, <laughs> Ask Luke. me first question. Yeah. Introduce them. Yeah. I'm going to take a, well, thanks, Luke, a glass of water. Here and uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. This is what the plants do, you know. <laughs> so, um, bueno, ya podemos empezar. Eh, bueno, eh, buenos días para todo. Good morning, everyone. Mm. Bueno, mi nombre es Arregocés Coronado Sarabata. My name is Arregocés Coronado Sarabata. Eh, Ana María Coronado Mamatacán. My name is Ana María Coronado Mamatacán. Luciano Moscote Conchacala. And my name is Luciano Mascote Conchacala. Bueno, eh, nosotros somos Kogi. Eh, uno de las etnias de la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. We are the Kogi, one of the four tribes from the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta in Colombia. En la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta habitamos cuatro pueblos indígenas que somos Kogi, Arhuacos, Arsarios y Cancuamos. In the mountains of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta in Colombia, there are four indigenous tribes, the Kogi, the Arhuacos, the Arsarios and the Cancuamos. Estamos en la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta desde hace miles de, año, de años antes de llegar los españoles en, en América. Llevamos viviendo en ese lugar con un compromiso de conservación lo que son los recursos naturales. And we are living in these mountains since thousands of years, way before the Spanish arrived. And since then, we have spent our time there protecting this place and taking care of it. Bueno, eh, hay un hay un mandato de la norma de la madre naturalezas. La madre naturalezas eh, nos dejó una norma de cómo regir, de cómo 
eh, vivir con ellas, convivir con la madre naturaleza. There's a law, there's a set of rules that was left by the great mother. And this law, these rules indicate us how we should live on this planet. Eh, el mensaje de ella es que hoy en día nosotros estamos acabando con la madre tierra. Ella está bastante desequilibrada, entonces nosotros nos toca eh, concientizar. The, the message that we bring today from the Great Mother is that she's out of balance. That nowadays um, she is deteriorated and um, that we need to, uh, yeah, we need to take care of her again. Eh, nos toca entender con la madre naturaleza. Nos toca eh, entender con los ríos, entender con el árbol, entender con el cerro. Porque si nosotros no entendemos o hacemos el, el intercambio con la madre naturaleza, vamos a seguir es acabando la madre tierra. So we need to understand, we need to get along with the earth again. We need to get along with the rivers, with the mountains, with the forests. If we don't do that, if we don't understand what we're doing, if we don't get along with the rivers, with the mountains, with the forests, we will end this planet. Eh, nosotros hasta, hasta el momento, hasta el momento todavía vivimos en la sierra y creemos lo que, lo que manda la madre tierra, la norma de la madre tierra. We still live in the Sierra Nevada, in our mountains, and we still live by the laws that have been left for us by the Great Mother. Eh, los mamos todavía hacen el trabajo espirituales. El trabajo espiritual consiste en hacer pagamentos, hacer retribución, hacer eh, tributo a la Madre Tierra a través de cantos, a través de ceremonias, a través de concentración. So the mamos, our shamans, our, our wise men and women, they still do their work, they still do the rituals, they still pray, they still dance, they sing, they concentrate. They do, they all do, do all of this to, to, um, to pay to the mother, to contribute to the mother, to nourish her. Por eso mismo en este momento, eh, el resguardo Kogi, Malayo Arhuaco, estamos trabajando más en la conservación de lo que son recursos naturales. Por ejemplo, nosotros hemos pedido al gobierno que nos compre la tierra, nosotros asentamos en ese lugar y dejamos que él solo se regenere el bosque, que se recupere él solo los humedales, los árboles, los animales, que ellos solo la madre tierra sabes cómo hacer su regeneración. And the most important thing is that when we, to, for example, ask the government to give us the land back that belongs to us, our ancestral territories, we ask them not to do anything with it. We, the way we do it is we leave it to the Great Mother, we leave it to her to regenerate herself. She knows where, where the tree should grow, she knows these things, we, we don't interfere. Por eso mismo, eh, hay una palabra en Kogi que lo llama que So there's a word in our language, it's called Munika Masha. Lo que quiere decir es que nosotros como humanos no podemos decir a la madre o imponer a la madre, sino que la madre misma empiece a hacer su regeneración. Ella sabe lo que tiene que hacer. And it means that we as humans shouldn't believe we know better than the mother. We as humans shouldn't be the ones telling her how to grow forests, how to regenerate, how to take care of the land. She knows best, and she is the one telling us how to do things. Por eso mismo, eh, cuando se hace la ampliación de resguardo, nosotros no, no sembramos los árboles ahí, sino que 
ella misma sabe qué animales vive ahí, qué aves vive en ese lugar, qué eh, árboles se tienen que crecer. Entonces, por eso mismo nosotros simplemente llegamos a ese lugar, hacemos nuestros trabajos espirituales, concentrar en ese lugar, conectar con la madre naturaleza, con el río, para que nosotros somos las personas que nos toca como revitalizar y la madre también nos va a revitalizar a nosotros. So when we buy back the land from our ancestral territory, when we get the land back, we don't go there and plant the trees, we don't go there and, and put the plants back there. Um, what we do is we go there, we dance there, we sing, we concentrate. And we are the ones through our energy to give strength to the earth, to re revitalize the earth through us being humans, through us being there. And she will also strengthen us again. So um, this, is, this is the way things go. We are like the opposite, the counterpart. And we nourish each other. We nourish the earth, and the earth nourishes us. In the Sierra, eh, para nosotros los importantes, más importante es lo que existe, los recursos eh, materiales eh, sagrado que existe dentro de la tierra y que existe en superficie de la madre tierra. Por ejemplo, para, para nosotros el oro, el cuarzo, las piedras, <coughs> olla de barro. Esos son lo que hace parte del cuerpo de la Madre Tierra, por eso mismo nosotros nunca hacemos las minerías en la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. So in the Sierra Nevada Santa Marta where we live, there are natural resources, there are minerals, there are things in the earth like crystals, like metals, like gold. And these things, they belong in the earth, and um, they are part of the earth. So we would never go and build a mine or take anything out of the earth. Porque nosotros, a través de esos objetos sagrados, es que nos hacemos la comunicación con nuestro padre y madre espirituales. Because through the things in the earth, through the metals, through the materials, we connect with our spiritual mothers and fathers. Eh, hay otras cosas que, que está pasando en el mundo, es, es calentamiento global, eh, la madre está muy desequilibrado, es por a través del avance tecnológico que existe en el mundo. And there is one thing, we have the, the, the climate change, we have the global warming, And we have the disbalances happening in many, many different areas of, of the planet. And part of this is due to the technical development we are experiencing. Hay muchas tecnologías que de pronto nos sirve y hay otra tecnología que de pronto destruye la madre tierra. So there are types of technologies. One that can actually help and support, and one that destroys and destroys the earth. Antes, todo éramos casi sin tecnología. La madre tierra estaba más completo. So there was a time when we had very little technology, but the earth was complete. It was it was um, it was healthy. Ahora hay muchas tecnologías, avances tecnológicos. Estamos destruyendo la madre porque la tecnología se está haciendo sin acuerdo con la madre naturaleza. Now we have a time with a lot of technology, we have a lot of development, innovations. But the way we build these innovations, the way we build technology, is in a way that is not in accordance with the laws of nature. Si nosotros la tecnología construimos sin la norma ancestral, sin las normas de medio ambiente, sin tener en cuenta que se puede inter interconectar con la madre naturaleza, nosotros mismos estamos acabando con esa tecnología. Nosotros mismos queremos acabarnos. Le estamos diciendo a la madre tierra que nos acabe rápido. 
nosotros mismos estamos diciendo eso a la madre tierra porque la tecnología no es acuerdo, no es eh, algo que se, que se interconecta con la madre tierra. So if we continue to build technology like this, if we continue our development as humanity like this, in the ways that we build technology, we build innovations in a way that they are not in accordance with the law of nature, not in accordance with the, with the original laws, it is actually us asking the earth to finish us off. It's not her wanting it, we are asking for it. And we are telling her by doing these things that we don't want to continue living here. Entonces, el, el mensaje de los mamos de la Sierra Nevada a nosotros nos dice, cada vez que vaya a las conferencias, pues hay que decir es que vamos a cuidar el agua. Tiene que estar en su estado natural. Vamos a conservar lo que son los cerros. Vamos a, no vamos a destruir más, porque si seguimos destruyendo, la madre tierra no se acaba, pero nosotros los seres humanos sí nos toca acabar. O sea que nos sacamos del de los de los. So whenever we go to the conferences, the mamos, the wise men, the shamans, they tell us, please speak about the water, speak about the rivers, speak about that they need to be preserved in their original state, speak about the mountains that we need to keep them in their original state. So when we do development, we shouldn't be taking things from inside the earth. Hay una palabra que es Jigonesh. There is another word in our language which is called Jigonesh. Jigonesh lo que quiere decir es que nosotros le ayudamos a la madre y la madre nos va a ayudar hacia nosotros. And Jigonesh means if we help the great mother, she will help us as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you ask them what they think about us? Because for some of them, it's the first time they left their village ever. I don't know if you realize what that means. Like, it means wearing shoes. It means taking a flight for the first time. It means uh, being cold, because it's not this temperature there. It means a lot of things that for us is like, oh, they're wearing different clothes. No, they're thinking, they're human beings, but they're thinking completely differently. It's very difficult to realize how different they think. So I was, I was very curious, like, what do they, what's their first feelings? Especially, I would love to, to hear a little feminine presence, and then we go to the, we switch to the Puyanawa, because we'll have them tomorrow, so maybe last question, if you allow me. What, how, what do they feel about us? Like, like do they feel this, like, uh, the city? The, like, how do they feel? Okay, but I would love to hear from our Yuli. Te está preguntando a ti, Yuli. Bueno, voy explicando. Él dice que, um, que él sabe que es la primera vez para ti. Bueno, tu papá ya viajó, pero tú y Jate Luciano es la primera vez viajar a, a Europa, la primera vez en un avión, la primera vez en un tren, la primera vez en una ciudad así como... como ¿El frío? País. Sí. Uh, El, el frío, la primera vez que, que lo sientes así, con un lugar así, con tanta gente, una conferencia. ¿Y tú qué piensas, o sea, de todo lo que ves aquí? ¿Qué, qué piensas de, de nosotros, lo que has, lo que has visto? Eh, bueno, pues... <coughs> Buenos días. Este, pues, como puedes saber, me llamo Ana María. Good morning, my name is Ana María. <coughs> By the way, she's, she's 13 years old only. Bueno, pues cuando llegué, 
pues lo que pensé, bueno, cuando llegué como que sentí como que estuviera en otro mundo porque pues como nunca he viajado en un avión y es mi primera vez. She thought that uh, it was a completely different world and it was the first time she took a plane. Por favor. Eh, sentí como que estuviera en otro mundo con una ciudad muy grande muchas casas I discovered this huge city with so many houses mucha tecnología pues que nunca los había visto a lot of technology y, I'd never seen before y cuando llegué pues me sorprendí I was very surprised la naturaleza aquí siento que es como no hay tanta contaminación pero hay menos naturaleza o sea están muy organizados pero It's very rare. Nature is very rare here. That, is that yeah, na nature is very rare here, but at the same time, like in comparison to the Colombian cities, there's less pollution. In, because she knows Santa Marta. Santa Marta is a very big, very crowded, very polluted city okay. that is close to their territory. And now she's saying Paris is, is like there's no trash lying around in Paris mostly. Y pues, como en Colombia, pues cuando estoy en Santa Marta. Veo mucha contaminación, en cambio aquí cuando llegué era como no hay tanta contaminación, pero hay mucha tecnología. Pero la parte que me sorprendió más fue la ciudad, que era tan grande como me sorprendí demasiado y pues ahora pues estoy feliz de haber conocido otra ciudad, otro mundo, experimentar muchas cosas. Y pues me siento pues feliz y hablar aquí sobre mi cultura hacia ustedes. So um, she says um, that yeah, coming coming here, it was a, it was a huge city, it was a totally different world, and it is uh, for her very very surprising to come to a city that big of that size. And she was also surprised that in comparison to, to the Colombian cities, uh, it seems yeah, very technological here. There's a lot of technology and, and less pollution than, than in the Colombian city, she, she knows. And she feels happy. She says she feels happy to, to know a different, different world and, and yeah, expand what she knows and experience something that she's never seen before. ¿Quieres te quedar con nosotros? Do you want to stay with us? ¿Quieres quedarte aquí o, o tu casa mejor? Eh, pues prefiero estar en mi, en mi casa, en la sierra. <laughs> she prefers to stay, sorry, I take your job, sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, she prefers to, to stay in her house, in the sierra. <laughs> Cuando llegué aquí, las casas eran muy grandes, pues, pues en mi cultura, todas nuestras casas eh, lo formamos con nuestras propias manos, no hechos por máquinas y cuando ya llegué aquí pues vi como habían muchas casas y que todo está hecho por máquinas, o sea, mucha tecnología. And the most surprising thing is looking at these huge houses, they are all made by machines. In, in their culture, they are doing the houses by themselves with their hands, they're actually building them. Here it's not us building our houses, it's the machines building them, it's the technology doing the things. Uh... ¿Puertas zapatos ahí a casa o no? ¿Cómo? Zapatos. ¿En la sierra? Do, do you wear shoes in your home? No. Ya estoy acostumbrada a estar descalza. ¿Te gusta? Eh, pues no mucho, pero tengo que estar con los zapatos. No me gusta también. <laughs> so, yeah, at home she doesn't wear, she doesn't wear shoes. And, um, yeah, she's a little surprised always when she has to wear shoes and she's, she's used to not wearing them, but here she has to wear them. ¿Pensas que hay una conexión con la natura? Sí. Um, she says, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, affecting, it's affecting the connection to, to nature, to wear shoes. Y pues sí, me encanta. Soy feliz siendo Kogi, servir a la madre tierra, cuidar a la madre tierra. Soy feliz siendo Kogi y ser la protectora de la madre tierra y ser una mujer Kogi. I am proud to be a woman Kogi, protector of mother nature. Ah, wow. <laughs> um, 
Manian, before I said that, Mihai, can you put that slide with, uh, if you can be really fast, uh, Kogi fundraiser? And also at the end of uh, Puyanawa, we'll, we'll see the same. We're producing this live, as you can see. Um, we have organized a fundraiser for the Kogis. 100% um, of whatever you give goes to them directly. The way they use this money is to buy their land. So we're doing this with Planet Buyback. They're partnered with Power. They want to buy back, they are buying back their land, but it, it needs money. And every single dollar euro online as well, by the way, this works. You can find a link from our website. Every dollar or euro you give helps them buy land. Why is this important? First off, maybe you like to have your house too. It's their home. We're taking it. We're destroying it. Second, the best guardians of nature are the indigenous, not us, because they know what to do with it. They know how to plant trees and plants. They know for generations how to take care of nature. Not that we don't do that too, you know, I, there are people that know that, but in the garden I visited, there were 3,000 medicinal plants. I don't know anyone in our world that knows the plants as much as they do. So please help the Kogis. Um, it's fair, we're proud of it. We're just messengers here. And the Kogis, yes? Yeah, we, they, they're gonna be here, oh, thank you, yes. Gonna be here tomorrow again uh, for a longer session because now we have our guest, Puyanawa, right here. And uh, they're going to do a whole day on Sunday in a private, private home of a friend in Paris, small group. It's cost, it doesn't cost. We decided to uh, create a fundraiser for them. Every ticket is 800 euros, 100% goes to them on Sunday. Those of you, I know it's, ex it's a lot of money for some of you, uh, but if you can, it helps them buy back land and you're gonna spend a whole day with them. Uh, and have a great day in a little garden in Paris. So I, I hope you. It's like a very it. private setting. Very few people coming there, and it's very ten people, yeah. fifteen. Yeah. yeah, just to sit there and really, if you want a deep dive, that's the way to go. Right, and some of you already decided to join. Thank you so much. Just know that this is supporting a, a great uh, cause, which is helping them stay as they are and not uh, work for McDonald's because they need to do that in a few years. Hopefully they never do. I have nothing against McDonald's, by the way. <laughs> Just. Muchas <laughs> gracias. Um, Vamos a, por favor, queda usted, I don't speak Spanish. Can you tell them to, uh, that they are welcome to stay all day long. We would love to help them. If they want to leave, they can too, but I'm sure the participants would love to meet them and talk to them, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to help anytime. Uh, well, uh, bueno, es, eh, él está diciendo que están bien invitados de quedarse todo el día, que pasar aquí, conocer la gente, que, que van hablando del el tema del resto de la conferencia. Y uh, bueno, y después si, si queremos salir en la tarde, lo podemos también. Entonces, como, como quieren, que, que se sienten bien, que se sienten felices, aquí están, están bienvenidos. Muchas gracias. Bueno, gracias a usted. Y vamos a compartir, compartir más mañana. I, I mix Portuguese and, and this, <laughs> this, for some reason it works. Muchas gracias. Lucas, thank you so much. <laughs>